Because of NP's Bright Moon passive, he will enter the dungeon with Full Moon. You want to awaken immediately for Full Moon. So Full Moon here. NP's skills will gain different effects depending on which moon phase you awaken on. However, his Awakened Will Pill Pilgrim passive allows him to gain all the different effects as long as you awaken on Full Moon. TLDR for PvE always awaken on Full Moon. For more information on Noah's character system, please refer to the guide linked in the description. NP's skills can either have Rest or Confession marked on them. His passives allow for certain effects based off of these. So for example, this is a skill with Rest, and this is a skill with Confession. NP's skills can also have Blessing of Moonlight marked on them. His passives allow for certain effects based off of these. So now I want to talk about support skills that you would bring on NP for Rosa Raid. As a disclaimer, for Rosa Raid, it is assumed you awaken on Full Moon and continue to awaken on Full Moon. Therefore, all skills are listed factoring in both Moon's protection effects. So the first skill I want to talk about is the Hour Between Dog and Wolf. The skill trait you want on this is Light. This decreases ally skill cooldown duration by 10% and enemies movement and jump speed within range by 10% for 3 seconds. The next skill I want to talk about is Moon Shard. The skill trait you want for this is Haste, and this reduces enemy defense by 20% for 20 seconds. The next skill I want to talk about is Chilling Rage. You can either take the mod or the unmod version of this skill, and the skill trait you want for this is Haste. This increases awakening charge speed of allies hit by the skill by 2 times for 20 seconds. The next skill I want to talk about is Verdict. As for skill traits, take Haste if you only plan to play MP for support. If you want to do damage, take Critical. So allies touching the skill will have their Bravery and Strength skill damage increase by 15% for 20 seconds. This skill is recommended to put on your trans slot. After that, you want to bring High Tide. The skill trait you want on this is Light, and this reduces enemies' all elemental resistance by 150 for 20 seconds. Following that, I want to talk about Moon's Origin. The skill trait you want for this is Haste, and this instantly recovers 30% HP and MP of allies in the Moon's range and applies the Origin of the Moon buff that allows for 5% HP MP recovery per second and also 1% HP absorption on hit with commands and actives for 6 seconds. This skill is recommended to put on your trans slot. The next skill I want to talk about is Glacier. So the skill trait you want for this is Haste, and this freezes enemies for 5 seconds. This skill is a 1 hit freeze skill, meaning you can chain it with water orbs, etc. For more information on freezing and Rosa Raid, please refer to the guide linked in the description. The next skill I want to talk about is White Dwarf. The skill trait you want for this is Light. Take Light if you only plan to play MP for support. If you want to do damage, take Heavy. Targets hit by the skill take 20% increased damage from critical hits for 20 seconds. So the next skill I want to talk about is Trace of Moonlight. And the skill trait you want for this is Haste. And enemies hit within skill range become unable to run and have their action speed decreased by 10%. You can probably leave this skill out since NP has 10 other support skills. And the next skill I want to talk about is Silver Moon's Calling. So either trait works for this skill. So you can either take Haste or you can take Gigantic. And this reduces damage taken by allies in range by 30%. And then I want to talk about the skill Extinction. So you can either take Mod or Unmod, but I personally feel like Mod has a better hitbox. And as for the skill trait, you want to take Haste if you're only planning on playing MP for support. But if you want to do damage, you'd want to take Critical instead. And targets hit by the skill have their damage taken increased by 20% for 5 seconds. And the final skill I want to talk about is Benediction, which is MP's Masterclass skill. You want to take Stage 1 for the skill. Higher stages only increases the skill damage, and you want a shorter cooldown and lower MP cost of Stage 1. So when you use this skill, you will apply Hour of the Moon and Benediction buff, which accelerates hyperactive and master skill cooldown of all party members within range by 2 times or 5 seconds. So the Benediction buff records the current HP, MP, DP, Way of the Sword, NF, Cannonball, Energy, Chivalry, Mutation, Combination Gauge, ECP, Power Gauge, Sentimental Point, Obsidian. This ability has top priority over other resurrection skills. Dungeon only record 50% of maximum HP and 30% in PvP. If a player is resurrected with a Benediction buff, they will have the Trace of Benediction debuff for 50 seconds. For PvP, this is 120 seconds. This does not stack with Seal of Time. And the Benediction 
buff duration is 30 seconds and the skill has a cooldown of 29 seconds. So this is what the skill benediction looks like. And finally, there are two passives that I want to talk about that I haven't mentioned yet in this video that I think you should be aware of. So the first is Silent C. So your critical is increased by 15%, natural MP recovery increased by 1%, and damage taken from bosses is decreased by 5%. And this will help you survive and raid better. And then finally, I want to talk about Salvation. So you can activate Salvation by pressing the V key while awakened with full moon. So Salvation will recover allies' awakening and also recover allies' special resources. And the reactivation cooldown is 30 seconds. And that is it for this video.